news coming to you from just event online tv i am Rukoya. she took first the news headline the commitment and collaboration of students traditional rulers help our work says okasami Kwarakai's comments and the programs dr abubakar crowned the new grand caliphate of tijania Kwara state business in cost over alleged 1.30 million era fraud and on international news, South Africa seek to curb gender-based violence. Djokovic sat and MC after United States opened disqualification. Now the news in detail. The PPRO of Kwara State Police Command, SP Ajayi Okasami, in an interactive program at Joss Event Online Studio on Monday has laid emphasis on how the collaboration and cooperation of the traditional rulers, students and the state government is useful in making their work easy at all levels. And because of the work between us and the students, they give us information. Even before that thing happened, we already know that the students of the time and the time so did, something like this will happen. We'll call the relevant people, we'll call and we'll talk to them. That's why then we have a relationship with the student. We have what we call police student relations committee that has all the representatives of all the shared uh, in Kuala State in the body and happen to be the representative of the police in that body. So we talk, we communicate at any time. If there's anything they see can bring the work problem, they talk to us. Issue. According to his statement, maintenance of peace and harmony in the state is achievable through mutual understanding between the police students and traditional rulers' relation. He also talked about how the community policing is moving the Nigerian police force from a reactive to a proactive policing in order to bridge the gap between the people and the police. However, he said the bad mounting of the profession is based on the favorabilities of a few bad eggs in the force. The management of Kwara State College of Arabic and Islamic Legal Study, Ilor in Kwara State, has disclosed that the National Board for Technical Edu Education, MBTE, has given the school approval to commence national diploma in accounting and computer science for the 2020 and 2021 academic session of the school. Interested candidates who have obtained UTME form and meet all the O level requirements with 120 and above are advised to change their institution on JAMP website and make CAI their first choice of institution to ensure easy admission to any of the courses. The school urge parents, guidance, and candidates to make use of the opportunity to secure their admission without hindrance as MBTE has certified all the teaching and learning facility of the college programs. The Emir of Ilori, Dr. Ibrahim Sulu Gambayo, CFR, has announced Sheikh Abubakar Siddiq Yusuf Abayao, popularly known as Baba Gwadi, as the new Grand Khalifa of the Tijania Group Kwara State. Following the death of the former Khalifa Sheikh Abraham Yusuf Mayaki last month, we call to March this year, Dr. Yusuf was honored by Cholam Book of World Record as the most distinguished man in the world. Members of Joss Event Online congratulate the new Khalifa for his well-deserved honor. An Ikeja Magistrate Court on Monday granted 200,000 bill to a 40-year-old businessman, Afolabi Adebayo, who is facing a trial over an alleged 1.30 million naira fraud. The defendant whose house address was not revealed is facing charges of obtaining by false pretense and theft of sum of 1.30 million naira from a housewife. Earlier, the prosecutor, inspector Victor Erwada, told the court that the defendant committed the offence sometime in July 2020 in Ojota area, Lagos State. Erwada said that the defendant obtained 1.30 million naira from the compliant Ms. Adiola Odiola under the false pretext of investi on investing the money for her behalf in motorcycle business. He said the offences contravene the provision of Section 287 
and 317 of criminal law of Lagos State in 2015. And on international news, South African government has introduced three bills in the parliament to curb gender-based violence. President Siri Ramaphosa has stamped them as the most far-reaching legislative overhaul in the fight against gender-based violence and femicide. The proposed changes seek to, among others, thing, create a new offense of sexual intimidation, allow for name of sex offenders to be publicly available, and tighten the granting of bail to perpetrator of violence against women. They will stick Violent acts will be charged to cover couple in engagement, dating in customary relationship, and actual or perceived romantic intimate or sexual relationship of any duration. And last on the news for today is sport. The world number one Nova Djokovic said he was sad and empty after being disqualified from the United States Open on Sunday. This was after eating a lion George in, a, in the throat with a ball during his fourth round match against Spain Pablo Carreno Bosta. He said it was unintended, stressing that he is extremely sorry to have caused us such stress. Having dropped Saab to Chaya 5 6, the Saab swatted a ball reasonably hard to the back of the court. Inadvertently striking the line judge who screamed out in pain as she fell to the ground. He further apologized to the at US Open Tournament and everyone association for his behavior, stating that he is deeply sorry. Now we've come to the end of the news for today. The news will come once again. The commitment and collaboration of students, traditional rulers, help our work, says Okasomi. Kwaraka is commences and the programs. Dr. Abu Bakar crowned the new Grand Khalifa of Kwara Tijaniya. Business in court over alleged 1.30 million era fraud. And on international news, South Africa seek to curb gender based violence. And on sports, Djokovic sat at MC after United States opened this qualification. Thank you for watching Just Events Online News. I am Bukoya Shito. To get more news, visit www.justeventsonline.com.